Hi guys, my name is Wesley Simpson. I'm a professional photographer at Wes Simpson Weddings. Today I'm going to show you what happens after the wedding day and give you a sneak peek into the design process of your beautiful wedding album. Every album we produce is designed in house by myself and the team. We then ship the files off to Italy to be printed by the world's best manufacturer. All the albums come with a choice of bespoke options, but I really love a glass front cover. This would show the client's favourite image and then could later be displayed in the home as a work of art. We use lay flat technology so there's no loss of printing image. We can use double page spreads and every page would tell a logical story of the day. It's that logical story and the design process coupled with how I photograph the wedding which makes the album so unique and perfect. I'm now going to demonstrate how we do this. So once all the images have been selected and edited, they are then uploaded into the design software ready for designing the album. We would start with the front cover, which is normally a wow shot or the customer's favourite image. The left hand side would be spoke with a leather option, usually a tone like a white or a cream or even a black, rather than a vivid colour because the album is normally left out on display in the home like a work of art um, and a neutral tone will complement any decor. We start the album with a, an establishing shot. This is a destination wedding which took place in Holdenes, Turkey. If it was a UK wedding, maybe we'd have the church or the bride's home. Um, with this one, it was the destination and the bride and groom, Melissa and Joe, were getting married on the pier. So my background is I'm a TV cameraman. Um, I worked in film, so that's ingrained in me in order to tell stories that way. Establishing shots, which establishes where the, the action is going to take place. And then we go in and tell the story with it within the normally we'd start in the morning with the bridal preparations um, again big establishing shot in the middle uh, Melissa getting ready um, in the UK we look from or in the west sorry we, we view images from left to right we would start with on the left hand side and our eyes naturally take a Z formation um, so I've got somebody looking in to draw our, our eye line down to Melissa um, and then I've ended on the last shot of Melissa because it's, it's, it's the stories about her um, that's a classic example of why um, magazines and newspapers would have the logo on the left hand side because that's where your eye, your eye starts and normally you'd have the most powerful image as the, as the lasting reminder. I photographed a 75% documentary but you know details add an extra element and you know a bit, bit of texture to the album. Um, all Melissa's details here address hanging up with the anticipation of being worn, a detailed shot of the, the, the make, in this case it's a Sophia Tolly wedding gown, um, the designer wedding shoes, uh, I think this is Vivian Westwood lipstick, the wedding rings, um, Vivian Westwood perfume, and just a simple page, but you know, in a few years time when Melissa's talking to a, a daughter or a granddaughter or, you know, um, talking about what perfume she wore on the wedding day, just a simple page, but so effective and so personal and adds an extra, an extra dimension to the album. Um, one other thing though you, you may notice on, on this page, it's a pro the product shots are all photographed in the same tones and the same background. It just you know gives an extra design element to it. Again, establishing shot, a unique moment, personal moment, Melissa and her sister getting ready. Again, I've then establishing shot and then a detailed shot, the back of the dress and the flowers. Simple page, so effective. Um, Next page, beautiful simple moments, unposed, a reflective moment. Um, Melissa on the morning of a wedding day, the day goes by so fast. Um, it's nice just to capture a reflective moment like this, which is quite rare. And um, you can see all the detail in the dress and the flowers, but I just love those reflective moments. On the right hand side, um, a beautiful portrait of Melissa. Um, I encourage brides to be ready in plenty of times. So we can get a quick portrait if Melissa's, if the bride's cried or it's, it's it's rainy on the wedding day or it's windy, at least you've got a beautiful uh, portrait in the morning. Now what groom or what guy's not going to love that um, picture? Again, we started with Melissa in the left hand corner. It's a dad coming in, beautiful portrait and then uh, the connection. It's about the relationship between her dad um, and herself and it's a beautiful, warm, tender moment. Now, I don't know, how, you know, can you imagine how much value this is going to have in a few years' time? It's only going to increase in personal emotional value as time goes on. Um, you know, we call these uh, reveal shots. It could be your sister, it could be your mum, it could be whoever it is that's giving you away. We just slow the action down. I don't overpose it. Um, 
and it just you know it just happens naturally and organically a lot of the time but by slowing it down it kind of gives it room to breathe and we can massage the situation and make sure i'm in the right place and the, the lighting's beautiful it took me a lot of time to to understand this process as a documentary photographer um you know to in order to stand back and let let the action happen i've been photographing weddings for 10 years and this is why i can get in these situations people go oh, isn't that just a beautiful natural moment that you've caught what it's not by fluke i anticipated it 100 percent again classic clean storytelling um left hand side is joe turning into the page into the action so our eye naturally wants to look look to where the action's going beautiful connection between melissa and her dad walking down the aisle linking arms beautiful eye connection it's a beautiful smile on melissa's face again link shots on on this side joe's reaction uh, handshake from the dad and Joe lifting the uh, Melissa's veil to see his bride for the first time on a wedding day. Beautiful, simple, clean image, powerful storytelling. Again, ceremony link shots, all the, re the reactions to add extra depth and extra flavour, and um, the walking down the aisle shots. As a design process, we haven't put this on the, the left side, we've put it on the right. It ends the sequence, it shows us that we're now going to another section of the story. Formal shots, I don't tend to promote this too much on my website and social media, but obviously um, there's room for formal portraits. Mums and dads normally like them, and it's mums, dads, nans and granddads, as you would imagine. Stop the bride and groom and build her up. Bride and, bride and groom portraits, don't over-egg it. I suggest 20 minute, two 20-minute se sections, 20 minutes before the wedding breakfast, 20 minutes after. I don't take the bride and groom away for hours. It's not a photo shoot, it's a wedding day. But we we get some nice beautiful portraits of the of the new newly married couple. Um, I tend to um, interact with them and ask them questions rather than pose them. I, you know, I, call it, I, I direct, not pose, um, to, in order to get natural portraits that resemble the couple. Um, because this was a destination wedding, we did a beautiful sunset picture. Um, I think this image proudly hangs on Joe and Melissa's wall. Um, what a, and you can, you can imagine this is halfway through the album, double page spread. Wow. Speeches, again, simple, classic storytelling. The dad standing up reading a speech, nervously with a speech in, the, in hand, a smile on his face. Big wow impact shot of Melissa and the reaction. Um, Joe looking on in the background. Um, it's in black and white. We've took the colour out of it as to not, to not to distract from the image and the emotion. But it's clean, classic storytelling. Two images, so powerful. In 10, 15 years time, Melissa will probably look at this and know exactly what was getting said and more importantly remember how she felt in that moment ended on a wow shot um beautiful sunset portrait we didn't plan on this happening the waves crashing up in the background i think it's a once in a lifetime image um so unique um and i've ended on a third eye kiss if you take them take a minute to google third eye kiss apparently it's one of the most um beautiful or romantic places to to be be kissed in on your forehead in between the two eyes at least endorphins or establishes a connection or something um but i end on on a, a shot like this rather than a, a you know a drunk first dance picture or, or anything like that we do you know we can do first dance pictures but i would still end on a portrait and um, the, the album starts with a establishing shot it has a middle of the story throughout, and then we've ended with a with a wow picture. Wow. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. No way. You kind of forget, don't you? All the <laughs> you do, you forget. Look at that. Who's that good looking guy? <laughs>
It's such a simple thing to say you forget, isn't it? And that's what, what I suppose it's about. Oh, we're looking at that. Oh my god. He's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is amazing. <laughs> Look at the colours on that. Grand Pinal. Amazing. Absolutely gobsmacked. Wow.